Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com. In this video, we'll be importing a portal template for our portal theme to create a site in minutes. So let's get started. The very first thing I'm going to do is uh, log in and host or super user. Uh, and what I have here is a default DNN7 site. Okay. Uh, I'm going to switch over to Mandeeps.com documentation for portal basically just look at import portal template guidelines the very first thing it tell us to do is install live slider if not done so already live slider is now bundled with portal so it allows us to create amazing slides uh, if you don't already have live slider install file you can always get it from the downloads but it's also included in the portal package so let's go ahead and install that first I'm gonna go to host extensions install extension wizard choose file and from the file that you downloaded from the NN store, make sure you unzip or extract it in this folder. Under install files, you will find the live slider zip. And like I said, you can always find the latest version on mandeeps.com. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Accept the licensing agreement. And just wait for the installation to finish. All right, that was quick and easy. Now we'll just go ahead and wait for our site to come back. In the meantime, I'm going to switch over to documentation. I'm going to go ahead and look at step number two. The step number two says to copy the portal.template and portal.template.resources files to the root portal's default directory of your DNN installation. All right, so let's go ahead and first find these files. Uh, if you again find the zip file that you downloaded, extract it, under it, you will find a template folder and within that you will have a uh, portal folder. In this portal folder we have two files portal.template and portal.template.resources. So what we need to do is move these files to your DNN installation. Now the best way to do that would be using an FTP client such as FileZilla. Um, since my DNN installation is local on this machine I'm just gonna simply bring in my folder and copy and paste this. So where we need to paste this, we need to go to the portals folder and to the default. I'm going to simply go ahead and copy this over here. That's it. So that's our step two. Now you would do this, like I said, using an FTP client or a web interface if your hosting provider provides you with one. All right, let's go back to documentation. Step three says go to admin site wizard and simply import away. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to admin. I'm going to go to site wizard I say next select build your site from a template you're gonna go ahead and select the portal template and uh, now we basically say how to deal with duplicate modules and content so if you're starting with a fresh or clean DNN install then I would strongly recommend to choose the replace option if this is an existing site uh, then I will suggest that you choose the merge option but keep in mind uh, how the merge actually happens is, is beyond anyone's control so make sure you have a complete backup to roll back to if, if need be. So let's go ahead and click next. Here we get to choose a theme for the site so we're going to say portal inner theme and now we get to choose a container so we're just going to choose portal title h2 go ahead and hit next. At this point you can go ahead and give your site a name so I can I'll call this portal demo site and you can get a description keywords you can choose a logo as well uh, and I'll just say logo.png there and hit finish now this will take several minutes depending on how fast your server is uh, just hang tight wait for the process to finish and you will see that your entire site is completed in minutes now it is very likely for some of you that this process may time out or it will never finish you just keep seeing it moving the reason for that is depending on your server resources and speed it, the ASP.NET process times out and could not finish in time so we're just gonna wait here patiently for a minute or two and uh, go from there but if you waited five minutes and you see it hasn't moved just go ahead and hit your site directly the URL the chances of the template was imported successfully but uh, the UI just never got updated so we're just gonna sit around and wait for a few more minutes Okay, so it's been it's been about two minutes, and the UI uh, just disappeared, but nothing really happened, as you can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and 
click on the logo here or just go to your home home site page and see if the template got imported and as you can see the template was successfully imported I see that the the skin has changed to portal and I also see that the license manager kicked in for live slider uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue trial just 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 so we can come to the page and there you can see the live slider animating away and we have our home page and we have all the pages set up for us with all the content and we can see that by taking a quick look as you can see there's placeholder images put in that you can replace with your own content for example if you're if you're at the team page instead of actual uh, images of people you have placeholders that you can now go ahead and replace with your own images and content that's it for the short video if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to open a support ticket we'll be happy to assist thank you so much for watching the video